looks like a museum in here, after a tornado. Wonder if I can learn something about that kid in here. So let's click on stuff. Looks like a note written by a little kid. Dear Shoe Fairy, thanks for the shoes. Aww, the red striped ones were cool, and so were the green ones with skulls. But next year, could I please have red shoes with skulls? Please, please, please. Thanks, Shay. Sheesh, demanding. Gosh, Jezza, I've done Aquatics category. That train wreck looks like ominous foreshadowing to me. Hmm, you're oddly self aware. Yeah. I wonder if he lost his first teeth by licking a moving beater, like I did. <laughs> like a <laughs> like a batter thing? She was like, ah! I'll give this guy one excuse. He had a weird childhood. I'll bet someone was trying to knit socks and they ended up too long. And so, snake. It says, safety award, footwear category. You did it! You wore shoes! Yay! What a sad sack. <laughs> You're a sad sack. Uh, hello? Hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? Mine? Well, mine is, uh... Gosh, it's been so long since anyone asked. Let me look it up. It's Melanie. Huh? Are you a closet, Melanie? Kind of. Step inside. I'll show you. I don't want to do that. Step inside the magic closet. Sort of. Let me not explain it. Just walk on through. Yes. Good. Now close those eyes tight to make sure your eyeballs make it to the same place you do. What? What? Fingers huh? crossed. Surprise! I'm a teleporter. Now you tell me a secret. Hey, where'd the other room go? What's wrong with my head? And my voice? Oh, no, I thought I had that fixed. You made my head bigger. No worries, sweetie, it's temporary. Take a trip back through me and I'll set things right. This is weird. I, uh... Is her head bigger? I don't... Uh, remember when you had to make Shay's head really, really small? Yeah. I, uh, I don't really notice it, yeah. but she's probably just saying you it. Know, she hasn't said much since the ship was attacked. Hope she's okay. She's just being a drama queen, so she'll get special maintenance. Give it up, Nadine! Mm -hmm. Sassy doors. Yeah. Hi. Who wants to go to the starboard passageway? I do. Yeah, fingers let's do that. <laughs> I love how they say fingers crossed every single time. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, there. There's my old head again. Are you sure? It still looks a little big to me. Hey! Oh. Yes, this is all brains. All right, all right. Oh, so we got that door to open. Mm-hmm. Let's go back through. You haven't eaten in at least an hour, have you? Now our head will be too small. Oh, too big. Thank you for traveling with us. You made my head bigger. No worries, sweetie. It's temporary. Oh, okay. So that's probably going to come into play for something. Yeah, well, you know. Still out of commission? Guess I so. remember last time, like, you had to go through the doors correctly to make sure that his head wasn't going to, like, explode, essentially. Mm-hmm. Well, no, he had to put his head inside of a helmet. A tiny baby helmet. Yeah. So our head's bigger again. Uh-uh-uh. What's wrong? Can't go the same direction twice while we're having that head thing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Come back through me from the other side. You and your head will be approximately good as new. Are you guys serious right now? A bowl isn't a good place to store a knife. 
I don't think this helmet would do much good there. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. We. Oh. Do I sound more like Shay? I mean, myself now? Maybe, but I... you sound so strange. It's me. Don't you recognize me? Oh, we have to make me? her head even bigger. Well, not really, to tell you the truth. If you don't believe I'm Shay, I'm leaving. Oh, I just don't know what to believe right now. Do we have to make our head smaller? We have to make it bigger because it made our voice deeper. So we have to make our head really big. So we have to go through that other door. Make sure to give me a five-star review, okay? You made my head bigger. Don't worry, sweetie, it's temporary. Now we have to go through this one, but which way? Hi, Mel. Back to the junk room. Oh, honey, we need to talk about your perfume. Ah, there's my old head again. Okay, so maybe we have to go through and then go around and go through the other one. Okay. Fingers crossed. Please count fingers and toes before leaving teleporter. Now it's even bigger. Don't Perfect. push it, honey. Come back through me before you pop. Here we go. Now we can go talk to mommy. I mean, mom. Mom. <laughs> Mother. I mean, Susan. It's like when kids get older and they. I never did that to my parents. I didn't, I didn't either. Care that but much. I know that some people do. Yeah. yeah. My cousin started doing that when they were like <laughs> seventeen. Just to be like, "Fuck you, Marla." Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. It's me, Shay. You sound kind of funny. It must be the intercom. But still, I need a little more proof, Shay. I mean, whoever you are. I want to believe it's you, Shay, but everything is just so strange right now. First the crash, and then my controls went dead, and now I can't reach your father. I just, I don't know who to trust. So just make me feel better by answering a few easy questions, okay? Um, sure. All right, first question. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal Fuck! as a child? Oh no. Captain? Uh... Vine Tickle Tummy. Is that your answer? Yes. Captain Von Tickle Tummy, I see. You are not my son. No, wait. I was thinking of my second favorite We have to go back toy. to that room. Yeah. Let me try that again. Hello? Yeah, we have to... Fuck. Now, if this was like a real situation it'd be she'd over be like she'd be like fuck you get out <laughs> and never listen to us again but be luckily because this is a video game, game we'll just keep playing over and over oh oh there we go do you know the name of shay's favorite stuffed animal the only creature i've seen him pay special attention to is you i've got to go <laughs> get into the central control room it's the only way to stop this. All right, so let's go back to her, and maybe there will be a new dialogue option to say something else. Yeah, I like either what are you talking about or oh, whatever. Right. It's me, Shay. Ask me a personal question, and I'll prove it to you. All right, first question. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a child? Huh. Mr. Go on. Puggy. Puggy. Is that your answer? Yes. Mr. Puggy, I see. Oh, Shay, I'm so glad you remembered oh. Mr. Puggy. He was the first friend I ever knit for you. Oh. I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this. What was that? Nothing. I see. 
Well, I have another question for you. Of all my little pet names for you, which one was your favorite? Please, can we not do this? Yeah. Please, can we not do this? That's, that's exactly what you used to say all the time. <laughs> you hated my nicknames. I mean, Shay did. Now, just one more question for safety. I used to make my son new space boots every year until his ninth birthday when he insisted on machine-made boots from the replicator. As he would surely remember, I tried to keep things fresh by never repeating a color or a pattern. So, please tell me what was the color, size, and pattern of his very first space boots. Uh, I think they were green? Okay. Green. And the size? Seven. Seven. Oh, uh, fuck. Five? I don't know. Size five. And the pattern? Polka dot. Skulls. Oh, okay. Skulls. Stripes. I think it's oh. stripes. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I really Damn it! to you, Shay. Leave me alone, whoever you are. We have to go back and just make sure. I'll cut it, don't worry. Okay. That does it. I need to make a chart to keep these clues straight. I'll just take some of this paper and one of these crayons here. And voila. Well, ha! It's a fucking logic done. matrix. Now yep. I just have to fill it in. Alright. Wait! The fireman drawing? Look at these. So. Th that's the fire. Oh, the fireman drawing. Okay, so. <sighs> I, I like how the game's like, all right, you didn't fucking do it yourself, because I knew I had to draw the yeah. matrix what's puzzle. The, what's in the fireman port? So I think the the seven on the bottom of his shoes was his age because the sizes only go up to six. Yeah. So that means that at age six, he was a size six because he, they said it went up three sizes. Yeah. And that would perfectly fit the logic puzzle. So at age five, he was a size three. Okay. It has to be size three. Oh, yeah. But I didn't see that option when she asked the question. I'll give this guy one excuse. Age eight, he had blue he had solid shoes. Blue childhood. solid. Age eight, he had blue. Yep. Solid shoes. Okay. Now, so do you know how to? So then we know that the skulls. So we then we know that the skull. That was red was age seven. Yeah. And then we know the stripes with red, I believe. And then, or was it stripes with red first? Because he said, "Thanks for the stripes with red first. Yeah. And then green. And then green, green with skulls. skulls. And he said red with stripes. What? Yeah, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Because, like, this is working out to be, like, five pairs of shoes. Well, in logic puzzles, she said that she never does it twice in the row the same way. Yeah. So this one, next year, she wouldn't give him a red one. She would give him purple with skulls. If it was age seven. Okay. He says thank you, there, I'm telling you, like, it's counting, like, five different pairs of boots, because he talks about three in that note, but then there's the picture of these and the original boots, which don't line up. So one year, it looks like he got two pairs of boots. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, when he asks for those red ones with skulls, those are the size seven, those are gonna be, those would have been age nine. Why? What do you mean, why? Why? I'm asking why. Um, because size seven isn't on the logic chart. Yeah, but he's size six. So what they're trying to tell... Oh. He's size six by the age of six. Like his... Are they like... His... I wonder if he oh, lost wait. his first teeth by age six. a moving beater. Incisors, like eight and nine. And then if you look at the thing, you know how old that he is because he's missing his first two front teeth. I've ever seen... Yeah, but those are inside. Well, okay. We'll go with it that those are the same teeth. Yeah. He's missing two teeth here, and he has size 7 shoes at age 6. So then his his, his first shoes are a size 4? His first shoes are a size 4. 
At age eight, age eight, he had blue shoes that were solid. At age six, we know that he had skulls. So maybe that was when he had the green ones with skulls, and then the red ones with stripes were at age, no, seven? Yeah. Yep, so it so had then, to be purple. Purple polka dots, size four. That's gotta be it. What about our head size? Oh, right, you're right. Sorry. It's okay. Oops. So, for people who I cut out all the shit where we were trying to figure it out, at age six, we know that he had green shoes with skulls because of a picture where his teeth were missing, and we deducted that. At age seven, he had red shoes with uh, stripes. And then because he asked for it, but he, she didn't give it to him because she never does the same thing twice, he had blue solid print shoes. So then we know... Because there's a picture where he it says age eight, eight and shows him with blue solid boots. Blue solid boots. So don't get tricked because she doesn't actually give him what he asked for. She gives him something that was different from anything he had ever had. Yep. So at age five, we know that he had a size four... Because, because of at the age, medical report. Because of the medical report, and in a picture it says he has eight, size 7 shoes when he was 6 years old. So, we know that he had purple shoes that were striped because of the polka bronze. Dotted. Poke I mean, that were polka dotted. So hopefully this is right. So he's purple, purple shoes. And the size? 4. four. Size 4. And pattern? Polka dot. Polka dot. Polka dot. Oh. Oh, oh my god! Jenny, it is you. <laughs> oh god. <gasps> Holy shit. Your mom's hot. You're not a computer. You're not Shay. She's real? Whoa. I thought she was like some sort of human sacrifice and had her brain plugged into a oh, computer. She's Who real. You? What have you done to our ship? Where's my son? Why are you being crazy yeah. about it? If you were real, then why were you pretending to be a computer? <sighs> Who are you? And why have you been kidnapping girls with this ship? Are you insane? Where is the big mom computer? Where is the big mom computer that controls this ship? Mom computer? What, what are you talking about? I don't know, you just acted like a computer for a long time? Yeah. I don't know. Nobody thought you were real, so... You're including your son? My yeah. name is Bella Tartine. I shot down your ship. What? Why? We are an unarmed deep space vessel on a peaceful mission. No, you're not. The wolf told me about you. Okay, now just calm down. You, you need some help. I need help. You're the one who. You're not in space. <laughs> You're the one. FYI. Who really convinced your son that you weren't real? Yeah, but look at that picture. I know. So it makes like, me wonder, like, what exactly happened to make him suddenly think that his parents were computers? Yeah. I don't understand. You are not in space. Look at that window. Well, not anymore. You shot us down. No. You never were in space. You were never in space. It's all fake. The stars are on the inside. On the outside, you're a monster. But... She's right, my friend. There he is. That's the wolf I was talking about. That voice. Hey, why aren't you trapped under that junk anymore? I knew uh -oh. it. I am no wolf, am I, Hope? I'm an old friend. What? What's wrong with your head? Marikai, oh dear. What are you doing here? I'm here to finish Operation Dandelion for you. I'm sorry that we had to keep some aspects of the mission secret from you and your family. But how are you... You said our world was dying. It was, but then you went forth and found our salvation, as so many have before you. The mobs. Sorry about the outer space theatrics. Just a precaution to save you from the temptation to go native, as some of your predecessors did. We were never in space? <laughs> 
Oh dear. Now, Laruna is a great empire unto itself, but is part of this very same planet. Beyond the Plague Dam. Funny you should mention that, Bella. Because here we are. And they've been kidnapping women because... Uh, now while I prepare the ship for sterilization, you two sit tight and relax. And know that you are contributing to the well-being of many generations to come. It is a metaphor for marriage! Yes! Oh my god! I did it! Up here! I'm a weapon! This is the spoon? Spoon weapon! Hey, look! A fork! I'd have a full set if I could just find the- Oh, I wouldn't bring up the S-P-O-O-N if I were you. <laughs> Tiny here broke his heart, so he volunteered for a suicide mission. Whoa! <laughs> you shut your mouth, Dutch! Hey, don't worry. <laughs> I won't tell him who you dumped him for. <laughs> Yikes. I'm uh, loving the utensil drama. <laughs> yes. It's like a whole like little story unto itself. <laughs> they have their own little lives. 